Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to draw a line segment to a plot in the R programming language. So if we want to draw a line segment to a plot, we first need to create a plot in the R programming language. And this is what we can do with line three of this code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that an empty plot is created at the bottom right of our studio. However, you could also use a scatter plot or a bar plot or a box plot or whatever kind of plot you want. But in this example, I'm just using an empty plot. Now, if we want to draw a line segment to this plot, we can use the segments function, as you can see in line five of the code. And within the segments function, you have to specify four values. So the first two values are specifying the starting point of our line segment. So in this case, we are using the starting point minus one on the X axis and minus 0.5 on the Y axis. And the third and the fourth values are specifying the finishing point of our line segment. So in this case, I'm using 0.5 on the X axis and zero on the Y axis. So if we run this line of code, you will see that in our plot at the bottom in the RStudio console, a line is created, which is starting at our starting points minus one and minus 0.5 and is ending at our finishing point 0.5 and zero. So this is basically how to draw a line segment to a plot in the R programming language. However, there are much more arguments that you can use within the segments function. And I have recently published a tutorial on my homepage statisticsglobe.com in which I'm explaining these arguments in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.